Hi. How's it going? Um, I'm, um, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, there was a big art show last night um, in Portland, Oregon, where I live, and um, it was put on by a lot of the local street artists um, who I happen to have some sort of rapport with. Um, they're really sweet and accepting of my work and they invite me to participate in one of the shows that they put on in Portland. Um, and this one was called Best Coast Art Show. Um, so if you go on Instagram or Facebook and you look at that hashtag, you can kind of see a bunch of pictures from the event. But it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, it, it was downtown in Portland, in northwest Portland, at a pub called Lucky Lab. And um, there, there was a big courtyard area um, where they did live screen printing and they had a bunch of um, can art, spray art on display and a sticker wall. Um, so a wall that they put um, white paper on and allowed uh, every, everybody, local sticker makers um, and urban artists and the like to uh, slap tag. Um, so it became this huge collaborative sticker install. Um, so that was awesome, and uh, then on in in the inside there was art featuring over 50 artists. I'm gonna say, um, just jam packed into the pub, and there was live music. Um, it was just it was great. It was a lot of fun. I put in three smaller pieces, and then I was asked to paint um, a large install piece on foam core. Uh, which I happily obliged. Um, I was provided some um, previously used foam core that I just repurposed uh, and did um, almost like it's almost like a um, a movable mural on three foam core pieces, and uh, I just kind of kept it a little simple. I did um, predominantly just a blue uh, base coat, and then I went in and did my line drawing. Uh, with acrylic paint and then did some highlights with like a yellowy white um, and uh, I called it moon goddess um, but other people were referring it as winter spirit uh, and I just I just really liked um, all the interactions I saw people having with her um, the bigger piece and I got a lot of compliments on her and I sold um, one of the three small pieces that I put in so um, that was a acrylic painting I did on a broken skateboard uh, and it was one of my signature tree goddess ladies playing with a butterfly. Um, so I'm happy that that one went off to a new home. I actually got a Instagram message from the person who bought it um, and they took a picture of where they have it in their home and I love that. I always love seeing where my art ends up. So um, that was while I was still at the opening. Um, so, you know, one minute I look over and my piece is still there, one minute it's gone and I get a message that they, um, they took it. And so that's great. And then I also had um, some merchandise. There was a big merch table where all the um, artists were selling stickers and zines and button pins and just anything you can imagine. Uh, so I had some of my stickers there for sale. And then I also brought a bunch of my misprints um, because, you know, I've been doing my tea staining prints for a while um, and I print these at home. I print a lot of my 5 by 7 pen and ink prints at home and sometimes they don't turn out right. You know, sometimes the bordering isn't correct um, or, you know, just, just something weird happens and so I don't end up selling it, I don't end up tea staining it. Um, and I've just been keeping them because, you know, they're, they're still beautiful, they're just slightly off. Um, so I ended up taking that collection of misprints to the show and selling them for five bucks each. And I only have, like, I think three of those misprints left, so uh, those went really well, those went really quick. Um, 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 yeah! So it was awesome, I want you to check out some footage uh, that Danny uh, Danny Ebru uh, took while we were there. Um, he also had art in the show. 
um, so many awesome people that I love and admire were in the show. So it was it was really fun, and everybody got to hang out and have a good time together. And um, I was, you know, up way past my bedtime. <laughs> So, I'm a little groggy today, um, but it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, here, check out the footage, uh, and then I'll meet you back here and have a couple other things to share. Okay. <laughs>
one of the pieces that, one of the smaller pieces that I had at the show. Um, and uh, it's actually a, a big piece of cardboard insulation. I don't know, um, I found it at this um, store called Scrap downtown. It's, it's awesome, it's like a ongoing permanent garage sale of art and craft supplies and recycled materials and stuff. So I found this heart and I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be perfect for Best Coast Show. So I grabbed it, it was three bucks, um, and then I just spray painted it kind of orange and magenta and then did these, did some paintings on each side. Um, and then it's, it works so that it's hangable from the ceiling and it can kind of twist and turn so you can see both sides. Uh, but I just kind of did like a twin spirit kind of uh, motif on this side. And then I did my uh, signature uh, abstract sp spirally woad kind of stuff on the other side. Um, so since this didn't sell, I had it listed for 50 at the show. Um, so I'm going to list it in uh, Etsy. I'm just not sure what the shipping is going to be on this yet. So, um, But if you're interested in collecting this, uh, it should be available in my Etsy shop shortly, along with some of the other leftovers from the show, such as this skateboard. Um, so this is another used skateboard that a friend of mine gave me, and I just I, used, I don't know why, but I just absolutely love painting on used skateboard decks. Um, and this is a pretty cool one. It's like a super narrow deck um, and I did my weird little fluffy cat low floating orb creatures on it. Um, so this is also going to be available in my Etsy shop for collection for 80 bucks if you are interested. Um, and then of course I can't actually um, <laughs> list my big three panel piece uh, on Etsy so I'm just going to probably find some places around town to display it, like some coffee shops or um, galleries and the like uh, until it sells or just repurpose them. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, check out my Etsy shop, that's lucidopticlab.etsy.com. Uh, and more videos coming soon. Uh, see some posts about this show and other stuff that I'm doing on Instagram at Lucid Rose. Um, also post to Facebook under Chelsea Rose Arts. That's my Facebook fan page. And check out my website. I recently updated it and it's all pretty. That's ChelseaRoseArts.com. All right, till next time, my dears. Much love. Bye.